right, we're going to get creative in a time of self-isolation. Uh, and today we are going to make some of these lovely little pots. You could put pistachio nuts in them and obviously you'll need another one to put these shells in. But I also like to keep my googly eyes handy. You never know when you're going to want to put a googly eye on something, so they're very useful for that. You could also put paper clips in, for instance. And we're going to do that using a beer can. You can also use a can of pop if you're under 18 or you don't drink either way um, it's really really simple um, we're gonna first of all we're gonna do this is probably the most uh, bit you want to be most cautious of we're just going to pierce with the sharp side of the scissors we're just going to pierce the can just above what I would call the shoulder so you've got your open end there now I um, am a left-handed woman living in a right-handed world which means that my cutting is at best slightly cack-handed because I'm using my left hand with right-handed scissors. I know, I'm such a trooper, right? Uh, but hopefully making slightly light work of it. So I've cut all the way through. We need to work out what we're going to do with that bit, but that's another workshop. Um, I'm just going to tidy that up slightly so that we've got a neat... The first cut, you can just make it quite rough all around the edges. I'm just neatening this up now. That will do for us. Then we're going to make a cut all the way down the side. I'm going to cut along a line that is basically crying out for me to cut all the way down. And I'm going to cut as far down as the scissors will allow. I'm then going to cut this can all the way around in centimetre strips. That is about a centimetre, give or take. If you're not sure what a centimetre looks like, it's the width of a lollipop. It's more a French fry than it is a chunky chip shop chips. If you're doing chip shop chips, they're probably too fat. And there we go. So there we go, we've cut all the way around the can. Now we're just going to fold these flaps back to kind of horizontal level. I mean, that in itself is quite pretty. You could put that out your window as a nice sun, uh, but we're not going to do that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start to make the sides here like this, the sides, the edge of the little bowl. What you're going to do is you're going to start with one of these pieces and you're going to fold it in across three of these other strands. So your first step is to put it in position, which is just at the base there, and then just pinch that tight. You want to make sure that's pretty accurate because once you've pinched that, it's kind of difficult to unpinch it once you've made the kind of groove in it. And you are just going to go repeating that Oops. all the way round. Um, by the way, don't be afraid of this uh, metal. It's not as sharp as you might imagine or it looks. I mean, that said, obviously, don't be reckless. Respect the metal. But it isn't like the edge of a bean can, for instance. You wouldn't do this for the edge of a bean can. Any mad person would do it. I'm not the greatest person when it comes to precision, but this is one of those jobs where you don't actually need great precision. Right, as you get to these last ones, we're going to actually tuck them under the flaps from earlier. So here we go, we push that, get it into position and pinch it, then come back and tuck it under. And it should stay neatly because the other one's tucked under. So again, get it into position pinch it and then tuck it under. There we go, and it's done, it's made, it's as simple as that. It can join its little friends now, ready for the googly eye pistachio nut party. All I have to do now is hope that when I go to the shops there are still some olives stuffed with garlic left that I can put in there because that's what I was going to have with my beer. Mm -hmm.